I know, I know, I'm early. I just couldn't wait another minute. But the doctor's not even be ready until appointment time. Uh, if then... It's okay. We can spend that time together. You know, you really should have mustered a little more enthusiasm. Well, it just blows me away because in an hour we're going to find out what color to paint the nursery. <laughs> That's if you still want to know what the sex is. Yeah, of course. I can't wait. Hey, did you hear that, kid? We're going to know more about you today. This is all about you. <laughs> okay, uh, Spinelli, what's the emergency here? Do I even want to know? No, uh, look, I'm, I'm deeply worried, okay? It, it's Stone Cold. He's having a really tough time figuring out how, how to live with giving up his kid in... He shouldn't have to, okay? I think it's on us to convince Stone Cold that he has to claim the little Stone Cold one. I mean, the only question is how? Ah, well, okay, you've nailed the one thing that I've been thinking about. Whose rights trump the others? I mean, Elizabeth is the child's mother. It's growing inside of her, so what she wants matters. And and as far as Lucky knows, he's the father, so that's where his motivation is, and he's happy. So who has the right to take away Lucky's joy, especially if this is what Elizabeth wants? One person, Jason, the father. Right, it's an enigma wrapped in a conundrum. Ah, uh, this is so frustrating because I wanted to tell Lucky from the beginning. Remember, I said that if we waited, then the outcome was going to be worse when the truth came out. So what, Jason, what, he wants to blow the secret now? No, but I, I, I see the wisdom in, in, in that because, see, I mean, we're still at the beginning. You know, Lucky, the baby hasn't even been born yet. I mean, Lucky can't be all that invested. I mean, not as invested uh, as he'd be when he holds that kid in his arms for the first time. Okay, let's see for argument's sake that you're right. Who's going to tell it has to be Stone Cold. We just need someone to convince Jason that this is the right thing for everybody. No, 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 no. Don't look at me. He's going to think that I have some ulterior motive. Mm. But I bet that you could probably be the one to help him understand. Do you think, you think he would listen to me? Yeah. I mean, you're the only one who, you know, knows what's going on with Jason, and, and he likes you. Well... You know, as much as Jason likes. But, you know, I think you might be the only person in the world that Jason would actually listen to. You know. You think I could uh, see a doctor? Don't tell me. A bullet wound? Actually, I took a spill on my bike. Wait right here. She's going to turn me upside down or shake me. Well, for all the good it would have done. Kid's determined not to show itself. All right, little one, we'll have it your way. We don't know whether you're a boy or girl, but at least we know here she's healthy. Yeah, and stubborn. This kid is Spencer all the way. Sudden. I mean, you're, you're back together with Elizabeth, and you're trying to put your marriage back on track, which would be enough in itself if you didn't have a baby coming along the way, not to mention you put your life in the world every single time you go to work. Okay, I think I know where this is going. You're wondering if I'll be tempted to use again. Okay, I won't lie. There are and will be moments. Then I have days like this one. What, what happened? Elizabeth and I, we... Well, we wanted to find out the sex of our baby, and... <laughs> But he or she wouldn't cooperate. But we had to laugh, you know, the Spencer Stubborn Street already on display. <laughs> Listen, we, you're, you're a great sister. And I really, I really appreciate your concern. But my life is so good. Maybe, maybe the best it's ever been. I mean, I have a wife that I adore, and I have a wonderful son at home, and I have a baby about to be born. Now, I don't think I'll ever jeopardize that. Can't stay away from us. 
<laughs> you can see right through me. <laughs> you know, I volunteered to pick up some forensic evidence so I could spend a little time with my gorgeous wife and our little mystery baby. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I find that sex. Well, there aren't many good surprises in life, and this will be one of them. I know you want a girl. But one of the reasons is so we can name her after my mother. Can we talk about that? Sure, is there a problem? Well, you know, we just had that conversation how we want our children to grow up to be their own people, and yet we're giving them other people's names, legendary ones. Luke, if it's a boy, Laura, if it's a girl, talk about giving a kid a lot to live up to. It just, you know, kind of worries me. Yeah, I see your point. But what would you like to name my kid? sitting in the dark just thinking look you're giving me some major cause for concern buddy <laughs> just worry about your own life okay you shouldn't even know about any of this I want you to forget that Elizabeth's baby has anything to do with me as my granny says you can't unring a bell <laughs> And besides that, I live with you and Sam. I see things, and Sam knows something's going on with you. And you can't just, you won't be able to just explain it away much longer. That's not your problem. If I may respectfully disagree, it is. I'm your partner. I mean, I was. And, and the whole hostage crisis, I mean, I, you know, I felt like we really developed a whole, you know, fighter pilot wingman thing. And I like you. You're like the, uh, the big brother I never had. And, and it kills me to see you in this turmoil. I know, I know why Elizabeth asked you to give up the baby, and I know why you did. But look, the decision is killing you. And it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair to you, and it's not, it's not fair to that kid, okay? Because they're going to be missing out on the world's most awesome dad. I mean, you, you... You would actually be involved in the kid's life. You would read to him and you would you would play ball with him or dolls with her. And you would tell that kid the truth, you would. And that's most than that's more than most kids get. Look. Look, I'm speaking from experience. My family they have a lot of secrets, and it is not cool to find out that the people you've been counting on your whole life have been lying to you from square one. Okay, that baby, Elizabeth's baby, is going to find out the truth someday, and that kid, that kid is going to believe that the coolest dad around didn't want them. Now, can you honestly look me in the eye and say that you're okay with that? Doc, I appreciate everything you said, but there's nothing that you can do to help me. Uh, contrary to what it may seem, I know that your life decisions are none of my business. But you're not wrong to want your kid. Jason, okay, forget everything that I've said. You can never tell Lucky that Elizabeth is carrying your child. The thing...